a client ask how to automate uh, an arrangement view, which if you're not familiar, uh, if you click over here on the right hand side, this puts you in arrangement view. So if you're going to work your tracks over here, there's a tutorial right above this one that shows you how to automate the tempo to go from song to song. This will show you how to automate volumes and that kind of stuff. So if we go back over here and let's say let's grab 24 Magic. So I'm going to take this song right here. I'm going to start it so it changes the tempo to the right tempo. I'm going to click on the very last count in. Come over here to lead vocal and hold down shift so I highlight all of them. And come back over here to count in and hold down and hit the tab key after I'm pressing down on my mouse. Tab key, now I'm going to drag that back over here and drop it into the same um, the same slot. So I go right there with count in. Now everything's lined up the same. And then I want to turn this little thing off so it activates the arrangement view. And then, like the tempo video, it's pretty much if I want to automate anything in here, you see over here, you have mixer or you click down that you can do uh, fades or mono or, or it shows you what else you have like a limiter or whatever if you have any effects on that you can click on whatever you want to automate I want to automate the mixer so right here is speaker on and off so if I want like this section right here highlight it see a little line if I hold shift down that's muted now so if, if when it gets to this part <clears throat> it'll mute that area. If I want to change volume, then what I do is I go over here from Mixer and I go to Track Volume. So now if I'm, let me go down here to um, the drums, I'll just solo it now so you can hear the drums. A little bit more volume. So you hear the drums. Now if I want to automate that, I can either highlight a section here, say I want this whole section to come down and I just hold the shift button down. I highlight and if I if I just grab right there it's gonna put a little um, whoops sorry if I just grab right here without highlighting it's just gonna turn everything down or if I have two markers like uh, you know point there and point there if I grab that it's gonna you know basically make a V looking area you know it's kind of a gradual flow But if I want to take a whole section down, what I do is is highlight it and then just hold the shift down and pull that whole little section down. Now I have this where it's over here, play this part. See that? Or if I want to draw it in, you can just, um, just undo this. You can go up here, make sure you're on, on Mixer, Track Volume, and click the little pencil tool, and you can just draw what you want in. Uh, now, I'm in grid mode, so when I draw this, it's going to go along with the grid. If I, don't, if I want to do it freehand, I have to basically, um, if you uh, right-click on your mouse, or if you two-finger click on a laptop, right inside this track, It'll show you how to get to your, uh, you know, uh, eight bar, four bar, two bar, one bar, blah, blah blah, or off. So, like I said, you either um, now the grid's off. There's no more grid. So now I can go over here, turn on my pencil tool, and now I can draw a nice little line, and it, you know, basically gives me a lot more flexibility because I'm not in a grid mode. So you can see the little tiny lines like that. So now if I'm playing it. And if I look back over here, you'll see that volume is moving up and down on its own. So that's how you automate in there. Um, and if you're going to change your, um, in, turn your pencil tool back off. And like I said, to change grid mode to off, you just uh, either two finger click or mouse click or what is it? It's um, um, control click 
And if you control click, it'll give you up this uh, thing, and I'll turn it back on too. I usually keep mine in quarter notes, just so that way things don't slide around. So yeah, that's how you automate in there. All you'd be is whatever whatever you want to automate, you select that from here, like your mixer, your fader, or if I want to automate, if there's a plugin like the EQ, you can click on EQ, and then you have all of the elements to automate that EQ. Here, if there's a reverb on there, you can click on, this will pull down, there'll be whatever plugin you have, like there's a compressor on there, I can select compressor, and I can automate all the elements of the compressor, or the threshold, all that kind of stuff. If I want to automate the, th the threshold, you know, for the compressor, for that effect, I would just, you know, um, click on threshold, and again, just highlight the piece and, you know, automate the threshold wherever I want it at, and it'll do the threshold, and then go back over here to mixer, that's where your volumes and stuff is going to be at, and I'm on track volume, you see the automation of track volume, and then that's it, you know, <clears throat> if you don't see them here, if you open this up and they're not there, it might be on speaker on or speaker off, maybe you touch something, but they're still there. You just got to go back, to, go back to mixer, go back to track volume, and they're still there. You just might have some other kind of automation in view, and that's how you automate. And then to save it, you just file save, and you're done.